Hello boys and girls, direct from the man cave, it's the maniacal Michael here. Now uh, the, the snow is blowing horizontal, that way, outside right now, and it's the uh, big fat flakes, the kind that accumulates rather rapidly and makes you uh, go outside like uh, Fligar over there in Umeo and uh, have to brush off your car, except the, these fat flakes are nice and wet fat flakes. and. Uh, you're going to have to use a snow shovel to find your car, I think, uh, this time. Anyway, uh, first uh, first uh, video for, for myself in this new year. And uh, after hoofing it over to my unwife's shack and back, I thought I would review some Edinger Weisbia. Let's focus again. There it is. Now I picked this up in a darker color of the same kind of Weisbier. Uh, from one of the liquor stores in Alberta when I was up in Edmonton just very recently. And um, I thought I'd treat myself to one of these today. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, I've got this itty bitty little Eaton uh, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe. The bowl is very, very tiny, but you know what it's very suitable for is packing in one of those flake tobacco little segments. And from just for him, I picked up uh, various um, flakes that they have on offer there in their bulk type section rather than buying a tin, you know. And this way I, I could, was able to get like an ounce each of the various tobaccos and uh, going to try different flakes out and twists after that little experience and exposure to the 1792 flake that the mapper was so nice enough to uh, send me a couple of samples up. So yeah, this little unfiltered Eaton uh, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe and it's sort of a natural format and uh, as you can see it's just a little wooden dowel. There's no filter in here. It can't fit a filter and this little bit is on here as tight as hell. I can't get it off. I almost went to get some pliers to twist the damn thing off but I thought, mmm, I don't think so. I'd mess it up. So going to have a little bit of smoke. Actually, I smoked a bowl of this already, and I pretty well can tell you, it's a strong tobacco. It's uh, that fire-cured stuff. Oh yeah, uh, it's Navy Flake, and it's, I think it's uh, Stokeby. Is that pronouncing it correctly? Stokeby or Stokeby? Uh, that's their bulk um, pipe tobacco uh, Navy Flake, and they have others there. If you ever feel like just for, uh, visiting Just For Him's website, and give it a boo. Anyway, let's get this beer going, eh? This Weisbier. I have found myself rather partial to these Weisbier because so far they have been really very smooth. Church key. Let's gain entrance, shall we? Ha! I bet you that's what some of those priests say out there. Ha <laughs> ha! To the little altar boys. Oh, how rude that was. Got our little glass. Here we go. Pouring. Uh, and it's a little warm. Look at this. I think it's a little too warm. <laughs> Should have stuck it out in the snow for a little while. Nice head, eh? Yeah, I'd say it's a brilliant head. I think we're going to have to <laughs> come back to this. Let's try it out of the bottle. So meanwhile, while we're waiting for this to sort of settle down, um, I want to say to Joffre, or Joffrey, um, Doing that two-minute beer review thing that you got going now? Yeah, it gets a big thumbs up, two of them out of, for me, you know, one, two. Um, yeah, that's that's really, really nice because, first of all, having never really reviewed beers before and seeing what, uh, to me, looks like a professional uh, in front of that camera, you know, with his nose down in here, smelling the nice uh, bouquet, and looking at the, at the, uh, the head of the thing and the way it's uh, way it's supposed to swish on the glass. Now I'm not sure I understand that whole thing. What what that what is that about? And how does that tell uh, a good quality beer or a poor quality beer? I have no idea. I could tell you the color, but look at the head. Boy, I'll tell you, man, this thing is all head. Yeah, this is some sort of Goliath. But it, the beer's pretty warm. I hoofed it over in a bag, and I thought outside, uh, you know, it would cool down. Anyway, it has not. <laughs>